not long ago about two or three weeks ago i did something on instagram i asked my friends who were because we're all at home it's quarantine season and i saw a thread about um self-talk and so i got curious and i asked my friends if they were feeling the same thing too and turns out we are all kind of in the same situation here is what i mean by self-talk self-talk is essentially all the things you tell yourself so for me i realized that it is the, you're not good enough, oh, you're too this, oh, you're too that, oh, you're not really doing this very, very well. And the thing is, sometimes when we tell ourselves these things, we end up actually behaving or believing them and it ends up manifesting in our lives. For example, me, I, uh, start, I started seeing myself self-talk to myself and um it would be when i wake up in the morning i go to the bathroom and i would literally my entire to-do list from yesterday would come flooding my head in about a minute or two i'm going holy my gosh i am not a great person i didn't call that person i didn't text that person i didn't do this i didn't do that because of that i may start feeling down and just unmotivated and feel like i just just i'm just just i just mess it up all up and that was kind of the first step though in self-talk is you kind of have to catch it and catching it for me was noticing that every almost every single morning i would go to the bathroom and i would feel sad and like oh crap almost every single day and when i started to catch that that's actually not true like I, yes, I may have had a long to-do list yesterday that I didn't get to, but just because I didn't do my to-do list doesn't mean that I am a bad person. So I want you to first things first is catch self-talk. For example, maybe for you, whenever you start feeling that like spiral happen is when you go on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and you're scrolling and you're scrolling and you're scrolling and you're like, man, everyone's getting engaged, they're getting married, they're, having, they're buying a house, buying a car, and you're like, I'm just kind of at home with the parents. <laughs> And you start feeling not okay with yourself because of what you're consuming, what you're seeing, and therefore you start talking smack about your own self right up here. And so that's the first step is catching it. Start seeing those patterns in your life where something gets triggered and sends you down a spiral of thinking you're not good enough or you're not tall enough, whatever it is that you end up like thinking bad about yourself. And then step two is, this is very important guys, come on in closer a little bit. People don't really think about you as much as you think they do. I'm so serious <laughs> because I'm over here consumed by what I'm gonna do today, what I'm gonna get done, my own day, my own life. And you're over here literally consumed by what you're gonna do today. And they're over there consumed about what they're gonna do today. So listen to me, people do not think about you that much I mean seriously and even if they do think about you a whole lot and maybe that's true you really can't control what they think so here's the thing here's the note to the girl or a guy who thinks they think she should be blank or think they think he should be blank they you can't really control what they think the thing is everyone we all have our freedom of thoughts and therefore you can't control what I think about you in fact, I cannot control what you think about this video you're watching right now. I mean, I can do my very best and put my heart and put my mind into it, but I really cannot control how you feel about it. And the thing is, you really can't control how anyone feels about you. You just get to be your great self and go out there and be authentic. And you're like, okay, Eunice, authentic. <laughs> how do I even do that? And that leads me to step three. Speak kind to yourself, AKA have grace on yourself. That's what I'm trying to push in this video is that, listen to me, you are a human being. You are a beautiful work of art. You, honestly, there's no one like you. There's no one who thinks like you, who talks like you, who reasons like you, who is like you. You have a unique path you're on. You have a journey you're going. I mean, think about it. A year ago, you are not who you were today. I mean, honestly, January, you are not who you are in January. And that is the most amazing thing about being human. I get I get hyped up when I think about being human because we are such unique creatures in that we get to grow. We get to like, even if you mess up today, I promise you by three months or six months or even a day from today, you won't even remember what that mess up was. And because you don't really see yourself where you, where you wanna be next year right now, that's okay. Just because you don't see who you want to see or who you thought you're supposed to be seeing right now doesn't mean you're not making progress all right just because you don't see 
the woman that you believe you're supposed to be with a job, with the house and the kids and, and I'm married and whatever it is that you are just beating yourself down over, it doesn't mean that you're not making progress. My dear, you woke up this morning, you breathe in air this morning, that is something called a miracle. And you have to see yourself as a work in progress. You are going to get better. You're going to look back at this day like a year from now and be like, whoa, I grew. I mean, do y'all ever look back at photos from like forever going and like, oh my God, what was I thinking? That's because you're a better person today than you were in 2012 or 09 or 10. And because of that, you have to be, you just, you, you just have to be kind to yourself because you're growing. And if you don't stop for a moment and understand who you are right now and embrace her and him and the love who you are right now, you're going to miss out on all the joys of being where you are right now. You're going to like just miss out because you're so caught up speaking terrible things about yourself. And so be kind to yourself. Know that. Have that grace for your own self. All right. So. My friends, I hope, I truly hope this week you're going to stop for a moment and do not let negativity appear, guys. Don't let it cycle again and again and again. And remember, one, catch it. Catch it. Find it this week. Catch it. Like, ooh, grabbed it. <laughs> catch it. And two, understand that people are not thinking about you that much. I promise you they're not. And even if they are, maybe it's mom or dad. That's okay. Mom can't think about you that much. But honestly, people are so consumed in their own life that they're not thinking that much about you. So stop letting that influence what you do or do not do. And third and not the least is be kind to yourself, AKA have some grace on yourself. You're growing, you're maturing, and that is beautiful. So I did promise in this channel to have my friends kind of share their thoughts and what they think about um, certain topics that you're handling as adults. And while I was getting responses for these, for the question I asked on Instagram, I had my really good friend Tori write this response that I absolutely love. And it's basically saying that like, ask yourself, will this matter in five years, in five months, in five minutes? Will this thought actually matter? That's simple guys. Ask yourself those questions because I promise you the world wants you to stay kind of stuck in that funk. But ask yourself, will this matter? Will it even matter in five months, five weeks? I mean, I can tell you things that matter to me in March don't matter right now, which is very interesting. But that's all today. And I am so glad you're here. I hope you like the video and subscribe to this channel. I have all these great videos I've been working on for August and I just cannot wait to share them. But in the meantime, go out there and feel empowered to create the life you love. And I'll be right here cheering you on and just hoping that you are speaking kind to yourselves. All right, guys. Bye, guys. See you next week.